Hello again. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support as always. And I thought today do like a, a a sort of river in the forest type of scene. So I'm gonna start off going a bit wild with sort of a whole load of greens, variations on green. And then the yellow bash down. Get a bit of raw sienna. Raw sienna cat yellow sort of mix going on. See what that looks like. Push that in down there, put it across the bottom. So introduce a bit of ultramarine into the mix. You can see this really darkens the greens now. Reflections. The river's going to be uh, somewhere up here, sort of bottom third, bottom half, somewhere, something like, something like that. Um, I'm, just, I'm just getting the basic sort of shapes in. I'm going to switch to my number three rigger, which is great for doing a tree trunks and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna, bit of ultramarine, bit of cad yellow. Start off up there, I'm just gonna just bash in just a load of trunks, tree trunks, few up there. Just get a few down there, reflections like that. A few down there, just cut across, a few more up there. What I'm doing, a lot of this I'm just picking up the paint that's already on the paper rather than just keep reloading the brush like that one. Pull that down. So, this is just like a low, it's just background, background trees. These are just background reflections and trunks going on. A lot of this will be painted over, but you'll see the odd one. Let's just soak up that water that's gathering at the bottom of the paper because it will just make a bit of a mess. Right, next I'm going to put on some darker trunks now. So, first of all, paper stretched a little bit. Let's pull it so it's flat against the board. And I'm going to go back in there and put in some thicker See what, before I do that, let's just work out first where the uh, land is. So I've just dried the brush. I'm just giving a bit of a bit of raw sienna, a bit of a bit of yellow, and all I'm doing now is just working out where the land is. So somewhere like that. it goes up, up quite high, up, up there somewhere, a little bit lower. That's yeah, coming down. Something like that. That's roughly where right the land the land's gonna go. Just a rough idea. Right, let's put some darker and some bigger tree trunks in there. I'm doing a bit of brown, also a bit of ultramarine, a bit of cad yellow. And we've got some big ones going up. There's a big one there. Put down the reflection. Somewhere else down there. And again, so some of these will be painted over. You, you wouldn't see all of this, but I'm just popping it in. Do some on the other side. Again, as I'm putting them in, I'm just straight away I'm putting the reflections in so that I don't forget them. Because it's easily very easy to forget. Things 
driving up there like that and flicking around. Pull a bit more, bit more land around there. That's doing up there like that. Around. Yeah, that's doing like that. Just experimenting now, really, to see what sort of effect that will create. What I might do is just put a little bit of distant foliage. Imagine just a little bit of just a few things sort of growing. Okay, don't forget those reflections. Right there. Now we want some bigger, bigger trunks. So I'm just dipping the, the hairs of the brush in just to bring bring all the hairs back together. I'm just being brown. Blue, quite a dark mix there. Brown, blue. But to get the maximum effects, I want to dry it first. And then these big strong trunks that are closer to us will push all these ones even further back and help create depth and make it more three dimensional. So give it a quick dry first. Have to be a day dry, just just a bit drier than it was. Then brown, bit of blue, and let's pop one. All right, let's start off somewhere up there. It's got a big tree up there, a little bit of reflection down there. Um, something, something there like that. Let's pop down. Just being careful. I don't want to paint over anything that I. Got a light that's there in the background. I'm just looking to sort of frame, frame it so let's have something going up there like that. Got a reflection down below there. Let's have another one cutting straight across like that. That's reflecting around there like that. So some some another down there, Put down there. Also got one going around the back of there. Well, let's put some limbs on these. So I'm switching to the number three rigger brush. on a few branches and twigs and then what I'll do once I put these on I'll switch to the uh, I'll use a sort of dry height brush and uh, put a bit of foliage on there a few sort of leaves put a put a on mass and be painting every leaf in individually that'll take forever Don't forget the uh, reflections down below in the water. So it's got a few, few things coming straight down after I had a shot up there. Reflected down in the water. Right then, let's put a bit of a few leaves on these. So I'm, all I'm doing, cleaning the brush. I'm squeezing the water out using my fingers into the water jar then I'm just going to dry the rest of it on the tea towel there 
I'm also scuffing the ears up at the same time. That'll help me put random leaves on. So it's going to start off with a bit of cad yellow. Put a few leaves on there. Yeah, let's introduce a bit of ultramarine to the mix. Make them a little bit darker, a bit more variation. A few reflections down there. Bit of raw sienna in there as well. thing I want to do is strengthen these um, the river banks where the water meets the the land. So I'm just giving a bit of brown, a bit of blue. I'll do, I'll use a piece of card, just scraping a few little rocks and pebbles and things. So it's just dab, dab, dab. Too far, maybe it'll work. Um, well, let's give that a quick dry. shadows here and there. So I've cleaned the brush. I'm just going to go a bit of bit of brown, bit of red, bit of blue, mix up a little just a general shadowy colour. Right now yeah, where are our shadows going to be so Few shadows up there in the trees, and we're coming down there like that. Bit of fingernail, just a few things growing in the water. And what I'm going to do clean the brush again, just straighten the edges like a nice chisel edge. Oh, hang on, a bit less water in there, too much water in that one. Just take some of that water off and bring it to a nice chisel edge. 
Ja, ich bin da. She's got like little ripples on the water. This is just a clean brush, this is. She's coming off the land. Just cutting across some of this some of these reflections. Just makes it look like ripples on the water. Let's take a few out from this side. Keep resetting, just make it back to that chisel edge. And just, just keep stopping, stop and, and have a look at it and see how it looks. It's very easy to sort of get too, to get too mad and you, before you know you've, you've made a right hash of it. So, like a lot of things, just do a few strokes and stop. If you have to get stand at the back of the room, then do that. So that's, that's what I do at the end. When I think I've finished, I'll, I'll pause the video and then I'll go and stand as far away from the painting as I can and see if it works. If it works from a distance then it, it'll work, it works better close up. You just get a better overall impression. So then, I think I just need more. So I'll just do it there. I'll just pause the video. I went and stood back and what really stands out is a sort of lack of colour. You really need a bit more green I think. So. Let's get a bit more green in there. So I'm just going cadmium yellow. Gonna, let's, get, let's get a bit of ultramarine as well. Ultramarine, cad yellow. I don't know if I need this too dark now. Okay. So let's just squeeze some of that straight out and see what it looks like. I think that is making a bit of a mess, but let's get the reflections. Yeah, this is just pure experimenting there. on this, this brush now just see what, what sort of effects I can get with this. Um, grab some in there. Oops. Some up in the trees as well. up there Look any better, or look, I'm just gonna hash a bit, um, a bit more, a bit more reflection down there. What it does need is, I think, a little fisherman somewhere. It needs some order, fisherman or someone taking a stroll. 
Stick out a little manning, I think. I think we'll finish that. Mm -hmm. Is one late? Too much paint on the brush. Still got too much. Quite sure down there where you'd, you'd get the reflection or not. I'm just going to put a hint of something there. Just a hint of something. finished now I think before I start pressing over let's uh let's put a main so I think that's what it looks like so this is the finished painting in the mains so if we go and have a closer look you can't see much of the initial wash now but it was sort of it was a bit of cad yellow with a little bit of ultramarine in there as well sort of variations on the green theme all the way down um, sort of preserve the sort of lighter areas down the centre Try and get a sort of contrast between the light and the, the sort of shadowy dark areas. You can see the difference between uh, putting a lot of these tree trunks in when the paper was wet and dry. Um, from the, the most distant ones that you can hardly see, all reflected down into the water below. Then I went in a little bit stronger, a bit strong. See here where the paint breaks up, just very, very dry there. All the way through to the big foreground tree trunks put in using the side of the hike these big dark ones there all helps create a sense of depth and a sort of three-dimensional image and then all everything above the water is reflected down below to sort of make the water look more convincing helps again I think by these horizontal lines that look like ripples on the water just like where the wind would be catching it or something like that I put the limbs on the trees, you can see some of the, the branches and the twigs using the, the, the rigger brush and then a bit of dry brushwork, sort of various types of greens to suggest a few leaves up there. Not forgetting a few reflections down below in the uh, in the water section. Used a car just to create a few rocks. I mean a lot of them I've just gone straight over here with the shadows, you can't even see them hardly. You see the odd one there, like here, just the light sort of catching the, the edge of it. Same on the other side, a bit of scraping out here and there, reflected a few little rocks down below in the water. Try to add a bit of colour here and there with the varying degrees of success. And then often helps have a little figure in there walking around in the scene, little man there with his dog walking through the woods. Well, that's it for that one. I hope you enjoy that. Um, remember, you can post your own paintings on the my Patreon community page. Um, keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.